in France, we have highlighted a phenomenon which is called le ceinture rouge. In the period after the war, Paris was surrounded by a series of municipalities which were all governed by communist mayors which kind of irrespective of the policies of uh, Charles de Gaulle or Georges Pompidou, uh, formed their own planning uh, infrastructure, appointed their own architects, often also members of the Communist Party, and kind of became uh, a, a, a kind of also state within a state with an independent uh, form of, of public architecture, also intended to be a deliberate statement uh, against the Grand Projet of, uh, of Pompidou. On the display is the work of Jacques Caliche, with the administrative center in Pantin, actually a graduation project that, that was commissioned to build, the Mosinor in Montreux, which is like an industrial complex with uh, roof gardens uh, where workers can have lunch picnics. So a very lavish kind of work environment. Uh, and those were both members of the communist parties, basically in, in effect through ties uh, with the communist uh, parties. The, the third building, is the Prefecture of uh, Sergi Pontoise in Val d'Oise. It's a, f a building in a new town and it's a first public building in a new town to make sure the new town wasn't entirely a sleeping city. It was originally a hotel in Brazil, but because of superstition of the local population about the symbolism of the inverted pyramid, it didn't get realized there. It was built here as the Prefecture of six new towns like Ivry, uh, Sergi Pontoise, etc., etc., around uh, around Paris. Shall we go to Italy? This is a drawing of the roof of the San Giovanni Bono Church uh, by Arrigo Arighetti in Milan, a church that is in a way the center of the Sant'Ambrogio neighborhood in, in Milan, a church that basically was built by the uh, municipality of, of Milan. But I think what is interesting is the fact that it's got a hyperbolic paraboloid shape. And in the age of blob architecture, so heavily reliant on drawing with the computer, it is actually quite refreshing to have uh, hand drawings denoting that shape in the exhibition and not only have rectangular shapes. So this is the San Giovanni Bono Church, actually a gift of the city of Milan to the Catholic Church in order to provide an anchor to what is essentially a large residential plan. In, in Italy, after World War II, you had a, a project which came to be known as the Ina Casa Plan, uh, which was a massive social housing effort, A, to provide housing to the homeless after the war, but also an enormous employment project, basically, so that a huge amount of unemployed people would find work in the construction industry. Uh, this was actually a brainchild of, of the Christian Democrat government in the deliberate attempt to, to ensure, to keep the population happy, and to ensure that the PCI, the Communist Party of Italy, wouldn't acquire too much power uh, after the war. Because like in France, they were enormously uh, powerful, up to the point, I think, that the Americans even planned an invasion in, Sitil in Sicily uh, in case there would be an electoral victory in 1948 for the communists. Uh, uh, and and the, the Inacasa plan, the, the reconstruction plan, is also partially funded by the Marshall Plan for the Recovery of Europe. So there's a lot of American money, Christian Democrat money in it as well. So what you see as, as a kind of communist endeavor in Paris, you can actually see here as a more right-wing endeavor. But the interesting thing is that the outcome is suspiciously close uh, because they both try to court exactly the same masses. And I think that this, that in that period there was no alternative but but uh, to do architecture with a degree of social conscience and in a period today where there almost seems to be uh, a unanimous lack of any of that I think that is also uh, where we uh, an interesting uh, antidote